Okay, y'all, so this is the nightstand that I'm going to be working on today. My uncle found this nightstand in somebody's trash, actually. So another man's trash is another person's treasure, I guess. So the first thing I'm going to do um, is take off the knobs that's already on here so we could get ready to spray paint it. And so I just took out all of the drawers and spray painted them individually. I used metallic spray paint um, in the silver color. So I did the same thing for the outer part of the dresser. Um, but on this part, you don't have to spray paint like the whole top part or the whole side part because the mirrors are kind of just gonna be in the middle of the top, in the middle of the sides. So I'll just kind of do like the sides of it. Right there, I was spray painting the whole thing and then my mom was like, you don't gotta spray paint the whole thing. So then now you see me doing just the sides. So this is how it's gonna look. I'm pointing right here now to the side parts that I'm talking about. That's the only part you need to spray paint. You don't have to spray paint none in the middle. So you see how I did it right here, just the side parts. Make sure you spray paint the whole drawers though. And these are the mirrors from Dollar Tree that we're gonna be using. So right here, I'm just taking those mirrors and I'm measuring them on the drawer so I can see where I need to cut the mirrors at or like what's the pattern that I want to use. So originally at first I was gonna do them like that two long ways, but then I actually ended up turning them the wide way. So I had two wide and then one long. The one in the middle was the long one that I had to cut. So then I wouldn't have to cut as many mirrors. But right here, this is just me measuring where I would cut them at. And this is the mirror cutter that I use. The link where I got this will be in the description below. Um, and I will also put a video in the description below on how to use this thing because this was another mess up I did right here. I actually ended up breaking the mirror. So in the next clip, I'm going to show you guys the proper way to cut it because I messed up like five times and broke my mirrors. Okay, so I had my mom come help me. So basically, you want to make sure that you're on a flat surface and you want to like measure out um, where you're going to be cutting, like draw a line. And then you're going to go down once with the mirror cutter. You could try to go back up really quickly, but you don't want to keep going up and down because that's going to just make your mirror crack. Then you're gonna put it like at the end of the table and just break the piece off that you just cut. So after cutting that middle piece, this is how it's gonna look. So we got the two wide on the side and going long in the middle. And this is the glue that we're gonna use. This will also be in the description below. So as I glued the mirror, since it's three pieces on the drawer, I would tape down the other two pieces as I glued one so that it would stay steady and my piece would be like in the right spot. And you just take the little um, glue gun thing and squeeze a good amount out onto the back of the mirror and then you just place them on the drawer really firmly.
And after placing them on the drawer, I still taped them down so it could hold in place. So this is how it looked after me finishing. Now this is just me showing you the top part, the design that I had. I had two on the sides wide and then in the middle I had them long ways. And right here is where I'm going to have to cut because both isn't going to fit right there. And so this is how it looks after me cutting that bottom middle piece long ways. And now this is how everything looks when it's gluing. I taped everything down so it could hold sturdy. Now this is the next day. So I was going to use the Dollar Tree mirrors, but we had these mirrors that was from the Goodwill that were $3.99 each. And they fit on the side of the um, nightstand long ways pretty good. So I used this instead of doing the Dollar Tree mirrors, but you can still use the Dollar Tree mirrors. Either one will work. So I basically did the same thing for these mirrors that I did with the small ones. Put some of the glue on the back and then put pressure against them onto the um, nightstand. Now with the side, it's going to be kind of different. You're going to have to make sure once you put it on there, you tape it. Tape it to the dresser so that it doesn't move. So this part is easier if you have two people. As you can see, I'm holding it down. And then my granny is putting the tape around it as I'm holding it. So you kind of need two people for this step. And if you don't have another person to help you with this step, then you could just put the dresser on its side so that it could dry upwards. But it take about 24 hours for it to dry. So it's going to take longer to do. Um, you're going to have to do one each day. So I just had my granny help me so that both could glue at the same time. And this is how it's going to look when it's drying. So I just have the tape wrapped around it so it could stay. And like I said, you're going to let this dry for 24 hours. Now for the knobs, I got these off of Facebook Marketplace. And so what I did was measure the mirror in the middle. And I measured to the middle to make sure that it was going to be in the right area. And I used E6000 glue to glue these on. I didn't get to record that part because my camera turned off. But you're just going to put E6000 on the back of this and push down on the mirror. Not too much pressure. And when you're drying those, you want to make sure you leave them sitting up like this. Okay, y'all, so this is how, <coughs> excuse me, Corona. This is how it looks right now. Um, but as y'all can see, I didn't spray paint all of this because originally I wasn't planning on putting these mirrors on here. I was going to do the Dollar Tree mirrors across. So I'm going to um, tape around this so that I could go back outside and spray paint this. And then we'll be all done. The drawers are on here really sturdy these are very sturdy